My name is Ratsuni, welcome back! Slay the Spire modded, we're gonna be continuing with the Guardian? Hell yeah, let's go Ascension 1. Uh, uh? That shouldn't have happened. Uh, alright, another try? Yep, I would quite like it. I'm thinking... Uh, I was gonna trade for a random boss relic, but I'm not gonna do it for Simulated spa. Uh, random rare, let's go. Stace Ascension. Okay, gain energy and draw a card. When we played three zero cost cards in a single turn, upgrades to become a Nate. All right. Well, zero cost cards, zero cost cards, zero cost cards. Well, uh, the gems are technically zero cost cards. I'm trying to think, how much support does this archetype actually have in this character? I'm assuming enough, right? Because otherwise, why would the card exist? But I don't know from whence it comes. Right, Essence Slime. Shouldn't be too difficult here. I'll kill up first. Three damage by itself. Only way that I was going to get to full defend that turn. Neat. Yep, that'll be a lethal for us. Amethyst. Is that a new gem? All enemies lose two strength this turn. It's pretty good. Ancient Protection gives me a zero cost card, so I guess that's also a trigger towards Stasis Engine. I'm gonna take like every copy of Ancient Protection and Ancient Attacks that I find. Uh, upgrade, remove. We'll go for the random relic. Uh, Decoder Ring. Whenever you play three attacks, then two skills, then two attacks, then one skill. Deal 30 damage to all enemies. That can actually straight up just carry you through the first floor. It is really powerful. Three attacks. Okay. Well, we're not going to be starting with attacks here, so... So you pick up an orb slam, deal two damage two times. So I can play three attacks here. No. Oh wait, I have a point of dex. No, I could have just attacked again. That's my bad. All right. Uh. Spike? Shield spikes, rather. Uh, gain 14 block. Ooh, momentary thorns. Momentary buff effect that adds a debuff effect, which can cause you to lose the buff's effect at the, uh, start, uh, at the end of the turn. Okay, so that should be... The way that's written means that... Because it adds a debuff effect, which causes you to lose the buff's effect at the end of the turn. That should definitely work with artifact now, right? Eight momentary thorns. That is strong. Yeah, no, we're doing thorns and artifact now. Okay, so two more attacks and then a skill. Attack. Mm-hmm. I needed a defend. One of those defends would have been fine. Oh, well. Alright, so we can... Attack. If we could launch one more attack here, we'd be in such a better position for the next decoder ring trigger, but... Oh, well... On damn it! That four strength is actually annoying because it means I didn't get to play two attacks for the sake of the decoder ring. One momentary dexterity wasn't that used. Wasn't that used to be? Didn't that used to be rather? Uh, two. Maybe that was too powerful. Let's skip this. Sweet. Uh, so we go attack skill, right? Then it's skill. Attack, attack, skill. 
So I can still attack skill next turn in order to trigger the Dakota Ring. Attack, skill. Sweet. Uh, I do like Stasis Field. The problem is Stasis Field will be anti-synergistic with the Dakota Ring. Because I have to play it. Alright. Let's get the upgrade on Ancient Protection so that I can keep the Thorns. Hmm, sure. Revenge Protocol right there. Um, do I double attack? I definitely attack at least once. It's whether or not I attack again. Because no. getting the Dakota Ring off in this fight is obviously ridiculous, but... Spike Shields is a little bit of a problem here because I'm not in defensive mode. I don't gain the momentary thorns. So I need more ways in this deck to trigger defensive mode. Currently, it's basically just whatever power I get from... Uh, whichever power I pick up from... Ancient Dexterity trigger. Ancient Protection. Whichever I pick up from that. But that's about it. Oh, and curl up. And curl up is two costs, so it's a little, little difficult to use that as the primary way to do it. Yeah, I think I just straight up normally play this fight. As much as I want to trigger the Do uh, Dakota Ring, I think I actually might end up taking more damage for wanting to do that. <clears throat> well, at least we got full defense that turn. Again. Sweet. If only I could have still been in defensive mode when that uh, spy shield came out. Oh well. Still think ultimately we'll be saving HP to not just eschew defense looking for the next trigger of the Dakota Ring. That said, now we can go two skills here. Nice. Two skills. It's just two attacks and a skill. We've got one attack already coming in. Two attacks and a skill. Boom. Shielding Shard. Vige Act you Climb. Gain three temp HP at the start of combat. Got that early enough for it to be quite powerful for us. Uh, gain four momentary strength whenever your block is broken while in defensive mode. We don't actually want that with this deck. Time Sifter. Uh, at the end of your turn, accelerate the rightmost card in stasis with a turn counter of two or more. Literally anything that has any cost, so any non-zero cost, is going to have Time Sifter effect. I mean, it's also worth noting, Time Sifter is a way to get a bunch of zero cost cards. That's the trigger for the stasis engine, right? Or it can be. Costs one after its upgrade. Still a little difficult. I know, two rares there. I'll pass up both of them. Uh, that stasis engine does nothing for us as well at the moment, so. Oh well. 2 a.m. Donut. If you don't play any attacks at the end of your turn, gain one strength up to four times into combat. That happens to us constantly. So I think a defend got hit there. I'm gonna go for more question marks. Metronome. Increases strength for each sequential attack blade up to a maximum of 10. Playing a non-attack card or losing HP resets the bonus to zero. That's like... That'll be like one damage for us on most turns. I'm taking this out by key. So my block is broken here. Great. So I get five strength and I just keep it. Sweet. Uh, let's get those spiky shields. It's all working excellently. All right, so Frontliner does not die here, but gosh, they're close.
So killing that midliner now kills two of the targets for me. Sweet. Peanut Butter, the start of each combat gained eight temporary HP. We have such good power out of the Peanut Butter as well as the Shielding Shard. We are just going to have a lot of fights where we lose no HP because of those two. We'll take the Quartz there. There's no reason not to take the Quartz. Transform a card. Let's transform a strike. Get a temporal strike. Slightly better strike in most cases. Well, I mean in all cases. Um, sure. Entangle doesn't work on me, and I get an extra point of strength for delaying that turn. In fact, I'll wait another turn, get another point of strength. Oh, you know what? Let me wait one more turn. One more point of strength. We very much do have the ability to just turtle up for the start of the fight and then pivot and go super aggressive. Ooze infused drink. Add four random zero cost cards to your hand. Oh my god. Well, that's wild as hell for us. Sure, I'll dig. Oh, we should enhance. Yeah, add a card draw onto the twin slime. Um, let's dig. We get Bottle Flory. Upon pickup, choose a card. You retain that card at the end of your turn. If it would exhaust you to being ethereal, it's discarded instead. We'll put that on the shield spike so that I can hold that until the right turn to play it. Um, something slothful. Definitely. So pick up the false log bull in here. So now, in these turns, I'm going to set up my decoder ring, if I can. Three slam, get added to my hands. It's fine. Okay. We'll attack. Skill, skill. I could have just done a different skill and then another attack. Yeah, that should have been it. Sweet. So this hand, I need to attack, attack, skill. Attack, attack, skill. Sweet! <clears throat> Just going to be using that decoder ring basically this entire time. Add a copy of Regret to my draw file. Damn, I'm about to draw that. Fine. We get... Oh, we do get Mercury Hourglass. Beautiful. Very pleased to have it. I'll now use the Elixir to burn out all the negatives. So I definitely want to curl up, defend, then Orb Slam so that the decoder ring has one trigger on it at the end of this turn rather than zero. Uh, we should probably go for weakness. Great. Attack. Attack. Defend. Defends. Oh, we are so set. By the way, the false log wolves already dead here. Uh, we'll get the gremlins because we're very likely to trigger the decoder ring next turn. So that'll just kill all of those for us. So again, it's attack, attack, skill here, right? Yeah. Neato burrito. Uh, three damage four times. I have 12 block left. I really wish I could see that right now because my block actually does take away from this. So the fact that I can't see makes it a little difficult, but I'm pretty sure I have 12 left. Yeah. Got a copy of the ultimate defense that I can't play. But Awakened One's Ritual. Add three ritual components to your draw and discard pile. If five are ever in your hand at once, they become 42 damage attacks. Can be really, really, really powerful. Extra utilities next turn. Upgrade all cards in your hand for the rest of combat. Beautiful. Attack. 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 Skill. Skill. Shouldn't play anything else.
Slowed is probably the least annoying for us right now. Ritual component. An upgraded ritual component still draws one card. Hmm. Let's go attack. Attack. Got him. Some serious damage that turn. I shouldn't have triggered it. I should have just waited. So I'm going to pick up a slime here because worst case scenario, it's just real big. I shouldn't play a bunch of cards in a turn because that is going to be obviously extremely negative. Uh, for the fact that we are slowed. All right, that's a perfect. Whew. Get a rare relic out of it. We get Glazed Taurus. Gain one strength at each end of each of your odd number turns. Between the 2 a.m. donut and the Glazed Taurus, Taurus being the uh, geometrical description of the shape that a donut is. Um, between the two of those, we can just stall out. I also think it's probably quite likely that I mean, I guess those both could be based off of Donu, who does the strength gain, but yeah. I like I like the thematic consistency of donuts being strength. Uh Ancient Construct. At the start of your turn, if you have no artifact, gain one artifact. Perfect for exactly this build. Okay. Solar uh, Solaris Essence. Gain energy at the start of your turn at the start of each combat, add two burns into your hand. Uh, there's also the Monkey's Paw, which we've seen a lot recently. I don't think that works for us here. Uh, Fusion Hammer, gain energy at the start of your turn. You can only smith at rest sites. That's difficult because the Ancient Construct being upgraded to be one cost is huge. My deck isn't thick enough and we play slow enough that the Solaris Essence adding those two burns to my hand is actually really, really, really limiting. I have to take the Fusion Hammer. I don't want to, but I have to. Okay. I'm going to go with a bunch of uh, good old questies. It's the fun new way that I say question marks. All right. I'm accepting the incoming damage here. Getting close to triggering my Dakota ring. Okay, so it's just attack skill. That's fine, I get to keep my thorns at least. That's some solid thorns right there, friends. Should have played a skill there, just for the Dakota Ring's sake. Sweet. See, this persists between fights, which is exactly why I want to set it up as best I can. Hey, a shot. Nice. Future plans. Uh, the end of your turn, place up to one card in your hand in stasis. New. Tick. Uh, the effect is triggered whenever the card's... Turn counter is reduced whilst in stasis. And it is increased this card's damage by three. Okay. So you, you want to put this in stasis constantly. And then it becomes ridiculous. So it'll be in stasis for six turns. Six by three is 18. So it does 48 damage when it comes out. Oh! 36 more damage. 71. Ooh. Like, yes, it's delayed by six turns, but... So this isn't something you use in a floor fight, but for a boss fight, ooh. Also, that art is great. Um, whenever you enter a rest site during the next combat, the first card played each turn also draws one card. That's huge. That's one extra card drawn per turn in boss fights. Every boss fight. I think I have to take that. I definitely don't take Centennial Puzzle. It'll, it'll literally never trigger for us. 
Mayhem's actually probably fine here, just playing an extra card for us every turn. Worst case scenario, it plays shield spikes when I don't want it to be played. Because the rest of these things, I'm fine with them being played basically whenever. Let's do it. Mayhem, you can uh, you can try and make it up to me. Oh, you know what you have to apologize for, Mayhem. Take the Runic Icosahedron here, move to the front, definitely use it instantly, lose 50 gold. I didn't have 50 gold to lose. Ha <laughs> ha! That's, that's still a joke on me. Okay. Two attacks and then a skill. Skill! Definitely those two. I'm just getting them out. Next turn will be curl up shield spikes. Great. So I get to keep my artifact now. Sorry, keep my thorns now. Curl up shield spikes. More thorns. <laughs> oh, I love it. Not automatically blocked at the end of this turn. Damn. And I didn't have enough temporary HP to just let him hit me again. Sweet. Deal? Hmm. Walker Claw. Deal 16 damage. Strength affects this card two times. We can get like six strength in a fight pretty easily. Six takes this to 32, 32 for two. Still, I don't think really worth it for us. Ooh, remove all defense and attain five gourds. That is so good for us. So those gourds give you temporary HP rather than block. And we already have temporary HP. We're just going to be a temporary HP deck. This is so good. Mm -hmm. Just get the 5 max HP. I don't want to have a shame in the deck that I can't remove. Yeah, I should have remembered that rests aren't necessarily good for me anymore because I can't upgrade things in them. That's my bad. 5 frail. Thank you, Runic Icosahedron. There we go, completely blocked you. Oh, we have a lot of strength by this point. Uh, Ancient Protection, please give me something that will make me go into defense form. It doesn't, but it does give me construction form. For two turns, you cannot lose HP or play attacks. Totally fine with that. Haha, -ha, I can't lose HP. I do get to use shield spikes here though. Lovely. Get those thorns. Okay, so I'm no longer in construction. Alright, I'm gonna jar of goop the back line and then murder you. And set up on the next one as well. Two attacks for the kill. Easy. Garnet, one vulnerable to all enemies. Accelerate all cards and stasis upgrades to remove exhaust. Um, no, we don't need any of these. All right, Runic Dodecahedron. If your HP is full, gain energy at the start of your turn. I mean, good lord. These runes, y'all. I'm going to go for the Emerald Key here. Just because another rest site makes no sense right now. Four random zero-cost cards to your hand that exhaust. 
It's ruining Kai Cosmohedron here. Hey, gain 100 gold. Neat. Okay, I'm going to Stasis Engine, gain energy, and draw three cards. Uh, draw a card, rather, whenever you play three zero cost cards in a single turn. Then I'll play the Ooze Infused Drink, giving me a bunch of zero cost cards. Oh, God. Really? Okay. Sweet! All of that ended up working, and now I can curl up and gain shield spikes. But I have no ability to keep the shield spikes. That's my bad. Uh, why did I do that? Uh-huh, you took the Ancient Construct. That's the worst thing you could have taken from my deck, frankly. And I cannot take it back. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. Come on, Kella. I actually glossed over it at the time, but Runic Dedecahedron is insane for us because we have so much temporary HP. Our HP is basically never touched. We just have extra one energy per turn, basically. Save, like, really dire boss fights. It will just be that. Alright. Fine if you burn the shield spikes now. Okay, so when Mayhem plays a card from the top of my deck, it counts as a zero-cost card being played. That's interesting. I didn't think it would. But since it does, that means if I get three Mayhems in this deck, <laughs> the Stasis Engine will draw us an extra card at the start of every turn and give us an extra energy at the start of every turn. That definitely should have been in a different order. So the best pickup for us right now might actually be something like a ice cream. Keep all this extra energy. But then we don't really still have anything to do with all of the extra energy, so unceasing top. That could be good. God, our temporary HP is ridiculous. I really like that event. The swap all of your... Uh, swap all of your defense for gods. It is like 100% in line, I think. I don't know if I can say it's 100% in line on the power level with the Vampires event, which replaces yours with Bites. Uh, and that's just because I don't know. Not because I don't think it is. It's just because I would need more time to think about that. Uh, but thematically and design-wise, it is 100% definitely game 5 block. Okay, so it's not increased this card's block by 5. It is game 5 block. So this is actually just a shield. Good. Um, I, I really also appreciate the clarity on the wording of those. Evasive protocol. Gain three decks while in defensive mode. Gain defensive mode. And then, gain the thorns. Hell yeah. Draw one less card each turn. That's not great. But thematically, it's so in line that, ah, oh, it's, it's really appreciated. Like, I, my favorite pieces of design in the modded series are things that I sit back and go, why isn't that in the base game? That totally fits 100%. It's not outrageously over or underpowered. It's interesting. It's unique. Should totally be in the base game. Strike, strike. Uh, yeah, I'm not relying on the Dakota Ring anymore, by the way. Mayhem screws it up for me constantly anyway, so, yeah, whatever. Ooh, never mind. Attack. Skill! Hey, to go to ring. This time didn't screw me over. Neat. 
vent steam with two sockets in it? Do I want that? Not really. I don't think it's important, at least. Gem finder, the end of combat. Choose a random common gem to add to your deck. I think I can just skip that choice, though. Natural 20 on the Runic Icosahedron. It is now just an energy relic, and I can no longer roll it, which I'm obviously fine with. Yeah, we don't need an energy relic after the next boss, and I actually may want to consider selling the fusion hammer. I think I had my thorns. Oh. I now have my thorns. Sure, it would have been nice to turn earlier, but look. There are horses with gifted mouths, and it's important not to stare. You make them feel weird about it. That's what I was always told. These horses can yodel. It's wild as hell. Uh, kill up spike shields. Get that extra. Oh, it's lovely. And now. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> Random common gem. Yeah, just another quartz. We'll take that even if we don't want it. All right, Mama Sneko. Ooh, ancient construct this early in the fight as well. Lovely. Okay, hang on. Attack, skill, skill, attack. I don't play stasis, so it's then attack skill next turn. I get to kill all of these Snekos. Mm hmm. That's pretty damn good right there. Then I also get my thorns. Oh, hell yes. That actually could not have gone better. I do them that order so that the Dakota Ring is closer. Attack, skill, skill. Attack, attack. I can kill with just playing the spell to it. Fine. Promise list. Gain one strength for each quest completed since this relic was picked up. We have a lot of quests. Ooh, three more monsters this act. I'm sure. I'll go to that fight just in case. Uh, but I can remove a card and possibly pick up any of those. if I, And I can finish the potions at a non-combat reward. Fine. Uh, toolbox at the start of each combat. Add a random colors card into your hand as well as the back preparation. At the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. Um... There's also Citrine here. We don't have anything to put Citrine in, is the problem? Hmm. Um, none of these complete quests for me either. Bronze Orb. Seven damage, seven block on the first turn, and a random card in stasis. It's still pretty good. I'm going for back preparation. Better opener available to us. Go for another bonfire. Yeah, I'll remove a card here. Sure. Basically, any of those strikes is a prime target. 20 monsters this act. Unfortunately, this, uh, this doesn't summon anymore. It used to summon. And because it doesn't summon anymore, I'm not going to be able to kill 20 monsters this act. Wild. Ah, well. I took my risks. I knew. I knew the risks. Alright, future plans. At the end of your turn, place up to one card in your hand in stasis. Okay. Pop that in there. Neat. Unfortunately, I don't currently have an artifact, so the spike shields aren't kept.
So I may as well just leave that in hand for the moment being. It's a lot of zero cost cards, friend. Thank you for those. I'll curl up in spike shields immediately. Just play through all of these zero costs. Hell yeah. Right. 10 damage. I do have a card in stasis. I'm going to curl up again, actually. Just keep that going for another turn. I'm not going to apply weak to myself, though. Feels unnecessary. The toxin spores are totally fine, though. Easy to play those. Uh, more thorns, thank you. Yeah, this enemy no longer really has the ability to do anything to me. It's lovely. Hell yeah, just drop those defense. I need to get more strength out of my 2am donut. I think I actually need to just start stalling turns entirely. Playing only defensive things and skills. And obviously thorns, wherever thorns are available. Cycle through the entire deck, gaining a ridiculous amount of temporary HP. Stasis, this one. Not because I want the best effect out of it, but because I want to get it out of my hand. Alright. Come on, and get me the card you know I want. Got it. Oh, no, I already weakened myself. Oh, I already took away from that. Damn. Still some more strength for us. Upgraded them and they do more damage to us now. Oh, that's dirty. Dirty pool right there. Come on, just attack me, damn it. Attack me! Multi- There we go. Now that's what we're looking for. Thank you. Right. Onyx, gain one artifact. Ooh. I don't think we need it. I'm taking it though. Once a poster, uh, gain energy uh, at the start of each turn. For every 100 gold below 500 you have, enemies start combat with a random buff. Gain 100 gold on pickup. There's also the claw grip. At the end of each turn, retain a random card. It costs one less energy next turn. Sure. Uranium amulet is downgrade a card at the start of your turn. Plus, you know, energy. Um, I'm fine with this. Mm, four elites? Yeah, let's go. We are pretty damn powerful. Four elites shouldn't be too much of a problem at all. Didn't get to retain the card I wanted there, but that's fine. That happens. Volatile. When this card leaves stasis, exhaust it instead of returning it to your hand. Wild. Hmm, okay. What quests can I complete this for? Because 20 monsters in a single act shouldn't be too difficult for us. Frontliner murders itself on me this turn. I get to keep the gourd. Damn it. 
Damn it. Must trigger defensive mode somehow. Still unsure on the detail. So mad. At the very least, I get to do it next turn. It's fine. We'll be fine. Fill up spike shields. With all of these gems in the deck, we're actually getting some usage out of the stasis engine, despite the fact that this deck isn't really stasis related at all. Alright, that's lights out for both of you, thank you. Flame. <laughs> you managed to bring yourself back at the worst possible time. Alright. Need lethal this turn. Come on. Just single attack. Got him. Got him. Tentacle juice as well as bronze armor. Oh my god, yes. Pre-upgraded as well. Uh, obtain the pavilion heart. Lose 5 max HP. So this just plays our entire hand occasionally. Yeah, I'm doing it. Because our entire hand is mostly defensive on almost every turn. So every four turns, it'll just play all of our stuff. Neat. Mm-hmm. Play a couple zero costs here. Come on, Pavilion Heart. Real damn close to the value. Here it is. My entire hand gets played at zero cost. Hell yeah. And because of the stasis engine, that draws me more cards. Because it makes them zero cost in order to play them. Lovely. No fear potion for us, thank you. Still only has one socket. If it had two, I'd use it now. Um, yeah, fear potion's not necessary for us. It's fine. Quantum chamber. I forget what it does. I'll take it. Choose a card. Start each combat with that card removed from your deck on the third turn. Return it to your uh, it and two copies of it to your hand. Let's do that with the stasis engine. All right, so we actually want to fight here. Oh, this is from Marissa mod. Good. Yeah. So fighting enables you to actually go for the combat here, which we are all about. Yes, yes, I see you there getting stronger, but the thing is, so am I. So, next turn, the Quantum Chamber puts three copies of Stasis Engine back into our hand, and then the Papillion Heart plays them all? Yep. Oh, this is dirty. Okay, so it transformed to Orin and then killed itself on me. Wild. Every time I play three zero cost cards, I just draw basically an entirely new hand. I love it. No cards in stasis here. With 19 thorns. All the enemies that attack me are going to kill themselves. Oh! Still happened. Come on, we can do this. So it looks like uh, looks like Oren's attacks don't actually occur. 
Whenever you receive attack damage from this enemy, add a burn to your draw pile. I also can't deal attack damage? I... I don't know what's happening right now. I don't think I can harm Orin. I might be at a, like a stalemate here. Like, it can't just be I have to kill all of the fairies first. I played three... I played three zero costs that turn and I only drew one card. Unless I'm even worse at counting than I thought. Wraith, exhaust a random card in your hand at the start of your turn. My whole deck is going to be gone soon. What? Yeah, uh, so the stacking of Stasis Engine isn't working. I'm only drawing one card when I play three zero costs, which is like entirely antithetical to the idea that I put it in the, the quantum chamber. Why can't I harm Orin at all? Literally, I can't. I think I think Oren might be bugged out because of the fact that they died against my shield after resummoning into a different form. So look, I can't attack them. There's no obvious debuff on the board that tells me that I can't attack them. They can't attack me. They can only summon. There's no obvious debuff on the board that tells me that they, or rather buff on the board that tells me that they shouldn't be able to attack me. Uh, because of that, I think that unless I want the episode to just end here and I say, well, we're at a stalemate forever, uh, the only option I have is... I can't even target it. I So I was going for the, the menu option of kill all to just remove the enemy. But I, I actually can't even do that here. Um, all right. If I reload the... Because I've, I've fought this in my own time, so I know this isn't how this fight goes as well. Um, so... How do I do this correctly then? I need to kill Orin before it transforms. Which means I need to not play attacks. I play no attacks this turn. Last time I did when I was in that position. No, it's just going to happen again. Yeah, that's... You're going to be untargetable. I'll, I'll Look, I'll, I'll show you my first attack against them. It's not going to work. Temporal Strike. Can't even hit him. Alright, well... And have a look at... So this is the kill all. Hits everything but... Yeah, everything but... Uh, Alright, so... I don't know... I don't know the effect name for just straight up skip this room. Or teleport to a different room. I'm not that familiar with the console. I know how to use it to get out of a sticky situation, though. So I'm gonna... I'm just gonna pet the cat. Great. Uh... And... 
card. Deck. Remove. Wraith. Ah, deck remove. Wraith. Yeah. Because that straight up shouldn't have been in there. We would have just won that fight. So basically, I'm treating that as a blank space. If you have a problem with that and consider that to be cheating, then see you next episode. Uh, literally, my two options were do that or the run's over. I think this is the best option. Three copies of Stasis Engine no longer makes sense, unfortunately, for us. I was really hoping that was just going to be insane. I actually have to rest now to get the, the Runes of Decahedron back active. Thorns is not a thing that you can play against the Nemesis because the Nemesis becomes intangible before it attacks you and loses intangibility after it attacks you. That has been confirmed to be a bug a very, very long time ago. Uh, but it's still in the game. It's very rare that you have a deck that is based around the entire idea of exclusively defending you, so I understand. I mean, I can't even attack this turn. Basically, just trying to stack strength while I can. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to rest at some point. gonna have to rest. Yikes. Yeah, see how my thorns literally never do anything to the enemy? You are kidding me. I am so mad. That bug is actually now taking huge tolls on me. This is the episode of the bugs. One nemesis down. Satchel at the end of your turn. Retain one card. I want the prismatic beam to put my uh, my quartzes in. I mean, it also benefits from strength. This used to be five damage and then seven damage. I think it got nerfed. I think it got nerfed. It definitely got nerfed. Take it. It's garbage until I get to a rest site, though. All right, onyx, mayhem, bronze, god, god. Get up some of that extra strength. So I'm just retaining a bunch of cards in my hand at the end of each turn here. Well, if I'm already attacking this turn, might as well lean in. Choose a card to retain. Unfortunately, there are no cards to retain. That whole stasis engine snafu is... Oh, that's rough. This whole run is going to take infinite years because of it as well. Like, that was going to be our saving grace. Alright. Just going to throw out one stasis. So we can actually start triggering some of these effects. At least I can get thorns in this fight. Play the other stasis engine just to get it out of the deck. 
Go on, and you tried to hit me. I really appreciate it. Single Orb Slam would be a lot more damage in this deck as well, so we happen to see one of those. Do I take the Vent Steam here? I've still got Onyx as well that I do want to be able to multiplayer. I'll take it. Oh, God. We're going to have actual difficulty in this fight, aren't we? It's the worst kind. All right. Well, we'll spend all of our opening turns just trying to gain strength. Sure, keep it good. There's all the stasis engines. At the very least, they all get played by Papillion Heart here. Unfortunately, we also end up playing an attack this turn. So that means that we do actually want to start attacking. Okay. Definitely curl up courts. I want to vent steam Gord Gord. If I can keep the enemy... Weak. I might actually have a chance here. But only if I can keep them weak. Get to keep two of my strikes there. That prismatic beam does need me to get to a rest site before it's really worthwhile at all. There's some more thorns for us. Sweet. Okay, the other attack was retained. So next turn, uh, the Papillion Heart is going to play all of these. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Now the Stasis Engine is... No, we didn't draw two cards. I played a Quartz at the very end there. Never mind, that's my bad. I played a bunch of cards here, so I get a huge, huge bonus. Am I still here? I keep asking myself. That'll do for the moment, but it's very much only a stalling affair. I don't want to keep pain in hand. I can keep pain in hand so that I don't have to draw it from now on out, but still, that means I have to keep it in hand. So now we've got all of these attacks, so we go lowest to highest in terms of damage. Got him. Garlic. Start of each combat, add three languid to all enemies, as well as... No. None of those, thank you. Shuriken, every time we play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. Not necessary, basically. Uh, so, Quartz... Gain. That removes cards from my deck. And throw the artifact in there as well. Rest for some HP. Missing a lot of energy. Gremlin Horn, whenever an enemy dies, gain an energy and draw a card. Nice. Fifteen. Plus. And for the lethal on you, get an extra card draw from it. Ancient Construct is important to play here as well, by the way. Yeah. I'm going to play that, and I think I'll play the Ancient Protection as well. Gain three thorns while in defensive mode, and gain defensive mode, sure. I'm going to keep Curl up as well, so that I can trigger the first... Da -da -da -da. Spike shields, never mind. Papillion Heart played the wrong stuff there. Or rather, played it in the wrong order for me. Mm hmm. 
Incoming damage is 24. So I'll just draw some cards here. Um, Gord Gord Twin Slam. No mayhem. I'm gonna have to deal with more stuff in the future. That's fine. Okay, Gord number one. Gord number the second one. Vent Steam Curl Up Spike Shields. Couldn't have really been better scripted. And now we should just be able to kind of reach towards lethal. Goodbye. Alright, so the first turn of our next combat, the Papillion triggers. Oh, gain no across all of those. I'll go for another elite as well. The hard fight is actually just going to kill us. There's nothing we can do. We are going to take so long in the hard fight that the heart becomes really, really powerful and just kills us. The heart, like a couple turns in, like nine turns into that fight, just gains 50 strength. There's nothing we're going to be able to do about that. fine. It already comports with my plan, which was don't play attacks. At the very least, the rubber ducky is giving me three times the cost of every skill I play in block. Every power I play, rather, in block. So playing all of these stasis engines isn't too difficult to do. Murder another target and sweet. We are exactly one strike from the win. Goodbye, Darkling. Hello. Next elite. Floating orbs. Yeah, I'll take it. Spoke earlier about the fact that I actually wanted that in this deck. Just as a really nice output of damage for us. Wait a second. So the card that got retained by Claw Grip was the card that's already being retained by the Bottled Flurry? Oh. I thought those things couldn't stack with one another. Okay, it's definitely Curl Up, Spike, Mayhem. I'll just launch in some damage at the end as well. I'll retain a drop box as well. Let's use a speed potion here. Hell yeah, Apotheosis. Upgrade the entire deck. Neat. That spot weak point is actually really, really good for us as well. Gain myself a ridiculous amount of strength out of them. I've got to play the drop box, so I have to keep it. Actually, it just gets played for free here, right? Yeah, it does. Sweet. Then I play the Revenge Protocol and Prismatic Barrier, and then the enemy attacks me, breaks my block, and... Hey, I get even stronger. That said, I don't really care about that. As long as we're close enough to get the kill. And we are. Oh, look at that orb slam. What lovely, awful work it does. 
Thread needle started to come back with four plated armor, as well as prismatic barrier. Okay, we don't have any more gems to put into it, so take quartz. Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to take another liquid bronze. Those are really good for us. Sweet. Easy rest time as well. Oh, I should have played the Revenge Protocol first there. That's my bad. Sweet. So my block gets broken this turn. Which means that we get another 7 strength out of that. Whoop. All of this is going to naturally play itself. Should just wait and let that happen. Ah, I probably should just retain that card in hand. That's my bad. Mayhem, stasis, vent, and then just a giant orb slam. I'm gonna try and keep these stasis engines in hand just so that I can play them and get them out. If, of course, I can find the time to play them, which I think I can. Keep those gourds. I don't know if the backliner here has any multi-attacks, but that would be extremely handy if he did. At least I'm in defensive mode now. And defensive mode allows us to do some pretty nutty things to the enemy here. As well as gain a ridiculous amount of strength this turn. Card to retain, probably vulnerability and weakness. As well as draw a card and gain an artifact. Although the artifacts are probably not too important. Oh, choose the right targets, please. Nope. Ah, one good target, two good target. Three good targets, we win. All right, with all of these thorns, maybe we can do the heart bite. It is going to be rough, though. It is not going to be easy. Okay, at least we're back on full HP, so... Oh, never mind. I was about to say, so I don't have to rest here, but I can only rest there. Uh, upon pickup, choose a card. It'll exhaust on draw at the end of combat. Bottle an additional card. Um, I'll pick up, choose a card. Whenever it's put into your discard pile, shuffle it into your draw pile. Uh, I mean, I don't know if there's any that I want to do that with. Maybe Prismatic Beam. Sure. What do I steal? The problem is if I steal, then don't I just fight the ghostly merchant in the next space? And then as soon as I find the ghostly merchant, that's just bad times for me. Piercing Hide is actually really good for this deck. Yeah, it is really good for this deck. Uh, so we'll take Piercing Hide. It's just whether or not I fight the merchant here. Well, most of our damage is hit back. Yeah, we actually don't want to fight the merchant. The merchant could kill us. Prismatic Beam. Let's remove that pain, finally. I could drop the power potion, buy the energy potion, drop the energy potion, buy the adrenaline potion, and then I would complete another quest, get another point of strength, but I think that's a bit... Bit much. And I should just buy the quartz. This is another quest. Four block at the each, end of each turn while in defensive mode. Gain defensive mode. Sure. It's a quest for us. Yeah. Alright, we're out of here. Okay, Papillion Heart is three turns from triggering. Neat. It's actually kind of where we want it. Oh, 
Allowing our strength to build as well. Ancient protection, definitely. We get construction form. I'm actually super okay with that. Should play an attack first, though. Oh, that's a lot of thorns I just picked up there. Very short period of time. Oh no, Pavilion Heart is one turn off of playing everything for me. Damn. I mean, that's fine though, because we can't take damage. Well, we can't take HP damage. Mm-hmm. Not the best targets for any of these. Not really, but keeping ourselves in defensive mode as well as getting a bunch of thorns. You know what? It could have been worse. There's one murder for us. Shortly followed with another. Dead branch in the side. <laughs> Whenever you exhaust a card, add a random card to your hand. Can be burned at rest sites. Uh, we exhaust one, two, two cards naturally, but... So we exhaust two cards naturally. It's just that the, the heart is going to put cards into our deck that exhaust as well. Dazed and void and slimed. And I don't really want to thicken up my deck at all because this is very reliant on just drawing and playing shield spikes constantly. So I, this is actually going to be the first time in a very long time that I turned down the dead branch. Right, power potion. It's definitely revenge protocol. Like there's actually no two ways around that one. didn't trigger it? Damn. So I'll play Mayhem, Time Sifter. Gord. I have to play the Bronze Armor though as well. Another Gord. <clears throat> so that's three debuffs they tried to apply. Weak, Frail, and Vulnerability there. None of them made their way through. We'll curl up Spike Shields. Beautiful. That's a large amount of spikes to already have. And then make the enemy weak and frail. I need to retain piercing. No, I can play piercing hide this turn. That's fine. And it keeps me in defensive mode even. I'm not attacking because I'm taking advantage of the 2 a.m. donut here. Papillion Heart plays all of these for me. I love it. It couldn't have been better. That is exactly when we needed Papillion Heart to trigger. We could have considered stalling in the previous fight until we were certain that we had the exact right turn coming up for the Papillion Heart to play those. That would have been clever. So we actually did manage to pick up our puzzle pieces fast enough to actually get this to be powerful and work. I'm really appreciative. So many damn thorns. Trying to buddy you up for the easy kill next turn. Beautiful. All right, well, at the very least, things got a little speedier in the heart fight, which is not typically where that happens, if at all, but it did, and the enemy is going to completely screw themselves with thorns. So what have I learned? Stasis does not currently stack, uh, and that if I use thorns to kill the Marissa enemy Orin from the event, that I am going to completely bug out that enemy, and I will never be able to attack them. Oh, these are in the right position now. Okay, so it's the... 
the guardian killing the heart and then reprogramming the defect and then the defect and the ironclad and the silent leaving sweet not only that but beyond perfect so 1755 for a total score for the moment my name has been rhapsody and the name of the game has been marathon episodes hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time